Hello, I'm Father Louis Skirty, and I welcome you back to Friends of the Word, a weekday edition called The Weekday Word. And in a few moments, we're going to share some ideas about the scriptures. And the whole focus of our programming is to break open the scriptures, to share the word of God with our listening public and our, our viewing public. Uh, we thank you for your support. If you go to my webpage, fatherloussecurityministry.com, you'll get the full impact, hopefully, of all of our homilies and, and teachings and so on. Uh, and, of course, you can always support us. Now, the reading I'm taking today came from the Monday of the seventh week of Easter. That, of course, is the Monday before Pentecost Sunday. And I like to read the gospel and maybe relate it to Pentecost, but there'll be a Pentecost sermon coming down the, very soon. The gospel is from the gospel of John, chapter 16. The disciples said to Jesus, Now you are talking plainly and not in any figure of speech. Now we realize that you know everything and that you do not need to have anyone question you. Because of this, we believe that you came from God. Jesus answered them, Do you believe now? Behold, the hour is coming and has arrived when each of you will be scattered to his own home and you will leave me alone. But I am not alone because the Father is with me. I have told you this so that you might have peace in me. In the world, you will have trouble. But take courage. I have conquered the world. The gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. Tell me, is that a challenge? I mean, is he talking to us or his apostles? And the answer is yes. <laughs> this happens at the Last Supper. The apostles finally, a light goes off in their heads. Oh, okay, now we know who you are, and we know that God is one with you, and, and we're, we're not going to ask any more questions. And Jesus is so impressed, not at all, with that. And I love it. You can say, oh, so you believe in God now. Wait, wait until push comes to shove. Will you believe in God? Will you believe in God? Will we believe in God when we have the people we love suffer, when we have a child in our family suffer, when we see war going on in the Mideast, when we see the, the defilement of the human person throughout the world, in the media, on TV, in our movies, will we still believe in God and still believe that God is in control? That's the question that the apostles had, and that's the question that Jesus asks all of us. Our faith is, the hour is coming. All of our hours are coming. The hour, and when Jesus talks about his hour or time in the Gospel of John, it means his hour of glory, the, the hour of his death, resurrection, the Passover. So when Jesus talks about that, he's also inviting us to get into his mind and realize your hour is coming too, my hour is coming too. And at that hour, will we look to God or will we look to our own weaknesses? It's a challenge. Jesus is saying, I want you to realize that you're going to be scattered. And, and, of course, they were scattered. When he carried his cross up to Calvary, nobody was around. Maybe Mary, maybe Veronica, maybe some of the women, eventually John, but not too many. They weren't hiding. They weren't scattered into your own homes, as he said to them. But he wants us to have peace. He wants to have peace in him because he is with the Father. What does that mean? After the resurrection, he lived his full human life. He conquered death, the thing that most of us fear the most of life. Death, after that, nothing else. And he comes back, resurrected, promising us that he's with us. During those moments of challenge, during those moments of defeat, during those moments of chaos in our lives, he's with us. Do we believe that? That takes faith. That takes prayer. That takes centering on God in our lives. I think we have to realize, in the world, you will have trouble, Jesus says. But take courage. I have conquered the world. Mm -mm. Is that a challenge to our faith or not? This has been Father Louis Skirty with Friends of the Word. Thank you for joining us. Appreciate it. And contact me at 
called the Luciferity Ministry at Hotmail.com. God bless you.